Hi Shamik, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm fine too. Thank you. So thank you so much for joining today. Sure, and I hope you're taking care. Like you know, in this stuff. Yeah, time. yeah, definitely, definitely. I hope you're taking care too. Yeah. Yeah. Great, great. So uh, let's just get started. So uh, I understand that you're uh, working at Target as a senior uh, software engineer, right? Uh, yeah. You worked as a software engineer at Target for more than three years now. So Correct. can you tell us a little about your journey and your career path? Sure. So like you mentioned correctly, I've been working with Target for the past uh, 3.8 years. Yeah. And uh, I joined fresh out of college uh, as a, a software engineer. And okay. then after around two years, I got promoted to senior software engineering uh, position. Yeah. And uh, yeah, my day to day uh, responsibilities include, you know, uh, like uh, designing and uh, developing uh, scalable uh, distributed systems and right. working with uh, data and that sort of thing. So, yeah. OK, OK, all right. So. Uh... Uh, I want to know. I want to know about the interview process at your company for your role. Uh, how many mm -hmm. interview rounds are there? Sure. So, uh, so on an average, uh, there are around uh, three, four rounds, three, four interview rounds. So, mm -hmm. firstly, uh, with the, there is the uh, CV shortlisting round, where uh, mm -hmm. you know uh, where uh, your CVs will be shortlisted, and then after that, uh, we have the initial round. Uh, so sometimes we might also have a coding assignment. So, uh, so the company will give you uh, to write an API or some sort of project, and you'll have mm -hmm. to submit it within uh, like a week or something. And okay. then, um, and then after that, uh, there'll be usually for the role that I'm in for in for senior software engineering. I can yeah. talk about that. So, yeah. so mostly there'll be a coding round and. Uh, and there'll also be another system design round. And okay. after that, finally, there'll be a managerial round, uh, which mm -hmm. should be more like a behavioral based uh, interview. So around, you can say, mm -hmm. three, four rounds. OK. So uh, uh, just I just want to talk uh, more about the interview rounds. Like, sure. what is the level of questions that are asked in each uh, rounds? And uh, mm -hmm. what is expected from the candidate? OK, uh, so do you want me to talk about the CV screening, or do you want to go with the interview round only? No, the interview round. OK, so uh, like the coding uh, round is pretty straightforward. Like, uh, usually, they'll give you a question based on data structures and algorithms. And you'll have to kind of solve it in an hour time. So usually, there's we have an hour, and uh, the first five minutes is spent in introduction, and then um, the question is given, and uh, ten minutes are reserved for you know discussing the approach of the question uh, okay. and coming up with the best approach. And after that, the rest of the time is uh, is done with you know writing the code and optimizing it. So right. yeah, so that's how it looks generally. OK, all right. So uh, you mentioned uh, the CV, right? So and we're talking about interviews. So uh, obviously, resumes are an essential part, part of the hiring process. Correct. So what is that? What is it that you look for in the resumes? Sure. So the most important thing uh, that we look for is, uh, is how the resume is matching with the job description. So uh, suppose the job description uh, requires that uh, it's a Java based role with uh, you yeah. know more emphasis on back end and that sort of stuff so your yeah. cv should be you know tailor made to have those skills which are asked in java description so uh, okay. if you an, if you are applying for a java based role you can't have uh, you know javascript or front end based uh, skills yeah. so yeah. so you have to write the relevant skills firstly so okay. once that is that criteria is met uh, then the, the formatting comes uh, in the picture because um, you know, the first impression is the last impression they say. Right. So right. Uh, yeah, so it should be uh, formatted into bullet points, and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, also I think it's better to ha have uh, quantifications like uh, in the projects. Like for example, mm -hmm. some people just state vaguely like I worked on this project. Uh, mm -hmm. So so you so it's better to use numbers basically. So it's better to okay. say like I uh, 
implemented this project using this framework and uh, got 95% accuracy. So exactly. adding more numbers, uh, you know, gives you more credibility. And, exactly. and the last thing would be like spelling mistakes. So if there are a few uh, grammatical errors or something that uh, yes. gives of the impression that you're not very um, detail oriented. So that is yes. the negative. So usually right. these three, the combination of these three. Okay, all right. Uh, so uh, now I'm sure a lot of people would want to know how should candidates prepare for a role like this? Uh, like what area okay. should they focus on or any tips or even resources? Sure. So, um, so first we have to clear the coding round, right? Which will be a DSA data structure algorithm based question. So, so firstly, one has to be uh, proficient in solving those kind of questions. So, mm -hmm. so I would suggest, um, you know, doing lead code. So lead code is, has a lot of questions and there are a lot of curated lists as well. And mm -hmm. lead code has various levels like easy, medium, hard. So for someone who is starting, I think it's best to start with, you know, the easy problems first, mm -hmm. uh, try to uh, get a feel of it. And the, the major thing is consistency. Like uh, yeah. we can't, uh, like some people just uh, get very excited and they do like two three problems initially and after that they don't do it for a week and they forget what they did yeah. so the main thing is to do uh, like at least uh, we should have a target like i'll do one question every day even yeah. if it is very easy even if it is very hard i don't care i'll do one question every day so yeah. so uh, that's when like it's uh, better to start with easy questions and build up the confidence and then yeah. go on to medium level questions and sometimes it happens that we feel bored or we don't want to we don't feel motivated enough then mm -hmm. go back to these easy questions and try to do that and just make sure that you are doing one question every day and uh, this process will take some time but uh, after a few weeks uh, you know uh, uh, you'll get the hang of uh, how to uh, solve these kinds of questions so yeah. that is one advice i could give yeah, that's right. Uh, so uh, like we've talked about how to prepare for this role just now. And yeah. we've also talked about how the interview process looks like. But right. in the end, it all it, it all boils down to how you perform in the interviews. Uh, yeah. Your performance, it could make or break your application. So uh, uh, can you tell us what are some common mistakes that you've seen that candidates are making uh, and any tips on how they can avoid these mistakes? Sure. So uh, a few common mistakes would be uh, like in the coding round, the candidates aren't uh, thinking out loud. So one thing we should remember is that the interviewer is your friend and uh, they're trying to see how you think. So and uh, oftentimes the interview will try to nudge you towards uh, the correct solution and give you hints. Uh, yeah. So if you are thinking out loud, uh, like uh, it opens up a two way dialogue between the interviewee and the interviewer and yeah. then um, and then um, you can take hints and you can build the solution. Even if you might not know the solution initially, you can build the solution. Also, yeah. when it comes to system design interviews, uh, so so what happens is the interview interviewer will give you a vague description, like design WhatsApp, for example. So uh, people just immediately uh, go into, you know, I'll do this, I'll do this. So, but the interviewer is not maybe not looking for that. So. First thing that the question, the interviewer we should ask in a design question is the requirements. Like, okay, you want me to build WhatsApp, but what features do you want? Like, do you want instant messaging? Do you want group messaging? Do you want photo sharing? So yeah. all these sorts of clarifying questions are very important. Uh, yes. So, so in coding round, I would say thinking out loud, and yeah. in system design round, I would say uh, ask a lot of clarifying questions, get your requirements right and yeah. then uh, start uh, solving the problem. Right, great. OK, but uh, I, I just yeah. want to know, but how does a candidate make sure that he or she is not making these mistakes that you mentioned? Uh, like, how how do yeah. you prepare for interviews? Yeah, so uh, so basically, uh, uh, so uh, firstly, like, uh, some candidates go through YouTube videos and yeah. see, like, how to do it. but. Uh, but uh, there, you know, I've seen that, uh, you know, some, if you take mock interviews, um, it'll, uh, it'll kind of help you in that process because, uh, because uh, mock interviews uh, will prepare you mentally to, uh, you know, to think in the correct way and also approach the problem in the correct way. So, yes. uh, so 
yeah i would definitely uh, suggest you like uh, suggest to all the candidates uh, who are listening to this that yes. uh, first uh, you know study uh, for the role and then definitely mm -hmm. uh, schedule a few mock interviews so that you get a hang of how the interviews are going to be and yes. then get feedback uh, from the uh, from the interviewers and then uh, carry along that feedback to the actual interviews so mm -hmm. so i think uh, at pre place uh, and various other mock interview platforms you'll get uh, eligible interviewers from uh, company from uh, eligible interviewers who are working in you know uh, top companies so mm -hmm. i would re really suggest you to take a few mock interviews to get uh, you know used to the interview process right right uh, so uh, nowadays due to covid uh, mm -hmm. all the interviews are being conducted online so uh, do you have any special tips that the candidate should keep in mind uh, while taking the virtual interviews uh yeah so uh, they'll ask you to keep your video on so yeah. so don't try to have another laptop open and search so that would be the first tip yeah uh, and uh, uh, yeah apart from that it's uh, it's pretty uh, same as face to face uh, just mm -hmm. uh, that uh, make sure that uh, you're coming off as confident and uh, just uh, make sure you have a good internet connection and mm -hmm. i think mm, i think there's no other major difference uh, you know between online no. and yeah face to face all right okay so uh, lastly to conclude i i just like uh, you to tell like mm -hmm. i like you to tell some tips some final tips uh, to all the candidates candidates who are aspiring to become a software engineer or aspiring to work at target sure so uh, tips are firstly uh, you know start with building your uh, so st start with a goal like okay you have a goal i want to work in this company so right. after that uh, you know have a timeline like i want to achieve this in like two months and then yeah. start uh, start with uh, the coding practice and the system design practice so for system design we have uh, a very good video uh, video series called grokking the system design interview so mm -hmm. you can try that on in, uh, on youtube uh, so just develop your skills first and then mm -hmm. after that uh, take a few mock interviews and then one thing i might have skipped uh, was the behavioral interview as well so right. in the behavioral interviews uh, you know the management is looking for people who are a good cultural fit to the company so right. So, uh, so, so if you can take a mock interview, so suppose you are preparing for Amazon, and if you mm -hmm. take a mock interview uh, of uh, like from someone who is currently working at Amazon, you get that uh, you know extra edge because you know what what are the behavioral cultural values that Amazon is expecting. So, yeah. so that is an added bonus. Uh, yes. So, yeah. So up, after that, just uh, go for it. That's it. Right. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Uh, I'm sure yeah. it will be like very helpful for all the aspiring candidates.